<laughs> this might be giving it. A, this is this is giving away a little bit, but it's worth it. Yeah. The fir, I think the first challenge we should do is the pack your bags challenge, mm -hmm. um, where we would say, "All right, guys, we'd let them settle in and unpack their shit and get all set up." And we say, "All right, guys, that's cool and everything, but now we want to see how your how good you are, your dexterity." It's like military boot camp, kind of. This is the pack your bags challenge. Who can pack their bags the fastest? You don't want to be the guy that doesn't pack their bags the fastest. Yeah. And then whoever doesn't pack their bags the fastest just has to wear a dunce cap. Yeah. I was like, you took so long to pack your bags, dummy. But then whoever packs it the fastest, they just go home. Yeah. We should set the three fastest people we should send home. We could like, have 15 people. Start with 15. <laughs> and that, that ruins it for, I mean... That ruins it if there's someone in the house that's like an MDE fan that's seen it. Yeah. But that's fine. There'll be there'll be one part of the game. person. Yeah, it's part of the game. <clears throat> you should get all of them off of Craigslist. She we, likes the Craigslist people. I think um I mean there's there's a lot there's enough people in the community that are like they think they would want to do it, but they would mm -hmm. once they're in there it would be so weird. Yeah. And I I think like most like more probably half the people in season one knew what yeah. the deal was. Yeah. Um, and can we t should, can we talk about Chris telling John on the airport ride? Just because it's funny. I oh wanna, my God! Yeah. I don't want to. Uh, is when you were like get, spilling the beans to John. Like. Uh, can I talk about that, or is that embarrassing? No, you can talk about that. It's just uh, like John got in the um, John got in Chris's car in the, at the airport, and Chris was just like, "Yeah, it's a really cool show. It's called Fish Tank." They're gonna mess with you. They got these things called fish toys, and they just do TTS. The chat's gonna talk to you, like all the stuff we were trying to keep yeah. secret. So then John gets in the house, and he's like, "Yeah, they have these things, fish toys. They're going to mess with us." And, uh, the viewers can pay money to dump the trash yeah. all over the kitchen. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the speakers, they're gonna they have, pe people will come out of the speaker and talk to us. <laughs> Just <laughs> ruined <laughs> the entire, all the yeah. surprises. <laughs> like back, it took him like thirty seconds to like ruin like yeah. weeks of stuff we were gonna roll yeah. out slowly. We were in the basement like yeah. so mad. We were like, Fuck. it's yeah. like he didn't read the contract. No, well, nobody. Read, first of all, nobody read, no the one contract. read the contract. Second of all, I read inf it. enforcing an NDA is like, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, it's impossible. How are you gonna do? Here's the. Th well, I want to tell the thing. I think about the contract. The contract's funny because it was 50 pages long. Yeah. And it's full of, like, predatory, like, we have your life story, like, all yeah. this shit. And the reason, the reason is because um, the lawyer we got, like, we didn't, we didn't have six months to, like, find a good lawyer. Yeah. And we're not going to get a, an actual entertainment lawyer because if they Google, you know, if they Google it for two seconds, they're going to be like, oh, we're yeah. not working with you. Um, so we just got some fucking guy. And, I'm on, and, like, we're rushing to get this done. And I'm on the phone with him, and he's like, uh, I'm like, yeah, you, uh, it's an internet show, so it's like a T, so it's like a TV show on the internet? It was the, it's, yeah. like, it's too early 2000s shit. So you're telling me this is a TV show, but it's gonna be on the computer. <laughs> it's streaming, right, like a, a satellite, from a satellite phone. Streaming? 24-7? <laughs> it's like a, so it's like a store? I don't, like, you, you're having to explain every step along the way. And so he just threw the kitchen sink at the contract. Yeah. Like, just. Everything. Yeah, he didn't, like, what do, what do we what do we need, like, Josie's life story for? Like, <laughs> we're going to do the, the bio. The Your bio story bio. is my story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, what is wrong? It was based off, of, I don't want to say which show, but it was based off a of different show's contract and, like, edited to fit what we needed. Um, barely. It was basically just yeah a it's contract. Just it's a pile of slop. Yeah. Um, I yeah. thought that um, you guys used AI to write it and put like a bunch of different contracts <laughs> together, yeah. and then just asked a lawyer to read it over for you. Yeah, no, it's just our our lawyer probably did do that. <laughs> he just used his old Hardlum with the fifty Canadian final house damage estimate. Curious about where you found it and what kind of deal. What needed to happen to get it? Um. Cowboy said today it's getting closer to the actual 60k that we claimed it would be. Yeah. When they did the look through, they told us they thought it would be 15, and now he's saying it's getting closer to 50 or 60. Whoopsie. Oops. Oopsie. Oops. 
That's a shame. Uh, Pinion with the 50. Thank you, Sam, Jet, Josie, and especially Letty for a roller coaster of six weeks. Will season two be a lot harder to make because everyone knows about trolling and gaslighting tactics? Letty is the better Betty. Letty sell for life. Um, season two, the hunt for people will be, be a little... Fine. You think so? It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. And we can offer a bigger... Uh, for, to get normal people, we can offer a bigger prize too. Yeah. Because this time it was kind of tough because we were offering 10000 because we didn't know if the show would make enough to support a bigger prize. So this time around, we could probably we could probably offer a hundred thousand dollar prize yeah. for a season two. That would be people. Yeah. Really willing to put up with. Yeah. <laughs> crazy stuff. Uh, so we got it. We got to bring Chris back. Yeah, I think he'd be down. Are we gonna do that right away, like as a contestant, or are we gonna do it midway through? Because he does, t he's got a big presence. Yeah. What I maybe what we could do is if we're if we're gonna have him from the get go. We could just isolate him to one room, like the kitchen or something. Yeah. Um, like he's the chef, but he's he doesn't leave his like little chef stand. Yeah. You know, and then like halfway through, we could fire him from being the chef, and then he has to live with them. Yeah, I like that. That'd be kind of cool. Saying he's like staff, kind of. Yeah. And then having some huge argument. Yeah. Which could just be a real argument. Yeah, over something Chris, real. Chris was fucking disgusting. Chris, you can't be naked. You're this food staff. you made is disgusting. You're fully nude. You're you're fired. <laughs> Josie and Letty, how do you feel after the pretend to be a chimp challenge where Sam walked in 30 minutes and said the challenge is canceled? No winner. <laughs> I didn't mind when he said it was canceled because acting like a chimp was, I don't know, kind of, uh, how do you say, relieve or I don't know. Yeah, it got rid of a lot of stress <laughs> chimping out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I... I knew like that he was just kidding about not giving a point because you kind of like did this look like you're like you guys aren't getting a point for this and I was like he's gonna give us a point for it um, but yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't care that much if we didn't get a point it was pretty fun <laughs> but um, yeah and I I definitely did more humiliating stuff on the show than that so the way because people are gonna expect the plot twists and everything yeah um it would be funny if season two we offered a hundred thousand dollar prize and then we actually didn't give it to anyone and we drop it down to 10 the original yeah <laughs> yeah that would be so f like the opposite of uh, the opposite of the good guy ending yeah the bad guy <laughs> yeah, yeah. actually doing it yeah. uh that guy busco with the 50 will there be a new house for season two yes also, what was your guys' initial reaction to Betty flashing the camera? What was your initial reaction to Betty flashing the camera? No comment. I was surprised it took that long for someone to do that. That was my reaction. Did you guys end up making a profit on the show or was it a loss? Also tell Laker to pull up his pants. I'm tired of seeing it. Great job on the show. MDE never dies. We made enough to do a season two. Yeah. How did it... What was your, how did it, you honestly feel? Did you know it was a bit when I was making you sell plushies? Were you mad at me? Um, it? It wasn't really was it a bit? I, like, I, I, I started as a bit, but then I realized this is a really profitable bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, selling plushies. But handling it like a, like a ruthless part of the bit. Okay. Like me coming in there and being really mean to you. I, I thought that was naked capitalism. It wasn't really. I hated we doing it. Money. <laughs> did you know how much the plushies cost? No, that. What did you figure out? I figured out um, after I got back and called my mom. She was like, "I can't believe random people are paying five hundred dollars to get you a, a plushie," and I was like, "Oh, they're five hundred. I thought they were like thirty-five dollars or something." <laughs> I was like, "That's insane! <laughs> what the? Fuck? But like begging was horrible. I hated it. I hated doing the dance." <laughs> 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 And I, like, I think one time the sh one of the sharks came in and was making me beg, but he had to like go do something really quick. So I snuck out of the room and was like hiding from him, so I didn't have to sell them anymore. Oh, man. That was me. <laughs> uh, C not Arbuckle, Letty. I started off hating you, but your tenacity and unflappability won me over. Starting when John and Chris teamed up on you, uh, what had you most shook throughout the whole show? Um. Thank you so much. 
Uh, the thing that had me the most shook throughout the whole show was um, probably Frank pouring toilet water on me like three times in a row. Um, <laughs> I was also, I was like in a really weird mental state that day because um, that's the day like that I smoked weed and they told me I was getting kicked off and I was like not sure if it was real or not. Um, so that's why like it affected me so much too. Like, I mean, if I was like, if it was just a normal day, actually I'd probably still get mad, but I would like retaliate. Uh, do you know about DNSL? Would you ever collab with him on anything? YouTube DNSL. If you know, you know. I don't know, but uh, we'll check that out later. DNSL's the guy who did like all the, uh, the trolling videos where he would like, uh, fuck. It's all skipping my mind now, but he's, he's major. He's, he's been, uh, in your, in the comment sections of your recent videos. Oh, this guy. Yeah, the second life trolling. Oh, oh, the se he, oh no, shit. yeah. Yeah, he watches the. Uh, oh really? Yeah, he watches. Sam, what was your honest reaction when you saw the mustard on the wall after John stepped out the bottle? That's when I realized that John is an animal. <laughs> yeah. That and when he was having a pan, he was like super stressed out. He wanted to take his shoes off and go in the woods. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, this kid's an animal. Whenever John was like feeling overwhelmed, he would he would ask if he could go run in the woods. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean that in the best way possible. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean that as an insult, but that, that dude's an animal. He can't be caged. He cannot be caged. With the fifty idea for season two, have a fake married couple show up as if the house belongs to them, and you broke in to film the show while they were on vacation. That's pretty good. We should try to sell the house. Yeah, we should. While, while yeah, it's happening yeah, yeah, and should. have like real estate tours. And just make the, the realtors got to sign a um, you know, video release or something. Yeah. But hell yeah. But how much of that shit was scripted? Did Ben really have a drinking problem and suffer from depression? The entire show walked the line of real and fake. I loved it. Not that much of the show is scripted, surprisingly. It feels scripted because there were so many weird crossover things, but we didn't script that much. Yeah. We only script, you, you can kind of tell like if the sh if if there was a lull and like stuff was not interesting, that and then something interesting happened, sometimes that was scripted, but yeah. usually not. It surprisingly didn't script that much. Dylan Adams with the 50. Uh, why did you guys get rid of the vomit sound effects? Oh my God. People were, apparently the vomit sound effects were making people leave the stream. Yeah. <laughs> it was lowering the viewership. That's wow. Cool. I didn't notice they left. Yeah, they were there and then they were gone. <coughs> People left the stream. We were like, we didn't even care. We yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, me neither. I like when there's something serious would be happening and then the sound of you chewing would come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> the worst one was definitely the breakup sound effects. Mm -hmm. It will, goes on for so long. Yeah. And like the high pitched female voice screaming yeah. is such a trigger for me. I you love the it? ominous sound effect. Yeah. Oh, I love the that doom one. the yeah. doom one. Do you have the breakup one memorized? I'm sure do you, you do. Can you do the do your breakup? Do the breakup sound effect. You're what? You're leaving? Why? What did I do? I gave you everything you asked for. I trusted you. I trusted you. Uh, do you remember the next part? I don't remember the rest. Like every time the sound effects would come on, my brain kind of turned them off. Yeah, me too. So that's why I only remember like the first part. <laughs> King Cobra JFS would make a great freeloader or contestant. God knows he needs the money. That is being worked on. Um, Johnny the fan. He's very, um, he's the most diva-ish. To get it's yeah. difficult to wrangle yeah i've been working on it nonstop. He, is, he is a celebrity and we need to sort of court him yeah they they said as long as we have unlimited beer and cigarettes he'll probably be okay down okay and he doesn't really care about money he just wants beer and cigarettes it's just the beer and cigarette man we could promise him a lifetime how much is a lifetime supply of cigarettes that would be crazy if we could pull that off that would be crazy 
we could calculate how many <clears throat> cigarettes he smokes in a day and then yeah. get him that many cartons. Yeah. Dropped off in a truck. Yeah. That'd be, it'd be crazy if his prize was waiting for him there. Like, just a room full of cartons. Like, his room, we show him up to his room, hey, here's your room. He opens the door and it's like, there's so many cigarettes, there's nowhere to put stuff. <laughs> it is the lifetime supply already. Yeah. I like that. Next season, get Letty to do the poop dollar in a fish buck break. Also, what was the deal with Chris and Steve? Who's Steve again? Steve was the, the, the Vietnamese oh. ghost oh. that was yeah. talking to him. I think it was Chris's bit that he did. He did a yeah. bit. He came down in the basement the night before. He's like, I'm going to do a bit. I'm going to pretend I'm going crazy. And then he did it the next morning. He went and he labeled everything with post-it notes, Steve, 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 all over the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then he was freaking out at the speaker saying there was a Vietnamese ghost talking to him. Mm -hmm. But then someone actually pissed him off for real and he forgot he was doing a bit. Mm -hmm. And then he went crazy. And it, I couldn't tell if he was going crazy for the bit or if he was actually just pissed off. But yeah. I think Letty just pissed him off and he forgot about the bit, yeah. which is so funny. Mm -hmm. Jet, was there a specific bit and moment, uh, bit slash moment that got you worried was going too far? Hashtag Biddy, I'm fitted. Let me think about the dozens of times that I thought this is going too far. Um, Simon locking himself in the bathroom for the cancellation bit was pretty crazy. Yeah. Anytime someone barricaded themselves in a room. The barricades was all, it was always an issue. Chris barricaded himself in a room. John barricaded himself in a room. Chris kind of, his barricade was not as impressive as, as John's barricade. John's barricade was the most fortified. It was very, for I literally couldn't get in there. We yeah. had to like, it was really well done. Shout out John for. Yeah, good job, John. That was a good barricade. <laughs> um, yeah, there was one, one time early on where we made the vibe so twisted Back when they didn't understand, I think it was like week one, mm -hmm. and people didn't understand that it was going to be dark. Mm -hmm. And when we first revealed how dark we could make it, there was a time where um, John and Simmons were like on either sides of the hallway, mm -hmm. like sitting and reading and just trying to like stay sane. Yeah. And I, I went through the cams and saw everyone was in like, no one was in a relaxing position. No one was like chilling on the couch or laying in bed. Everyone was like leaning on a weird wall or mm -hmm. trying to get in a blind spot. Yeah. Or like sitting in the garage alone. Mm -hmm. And I was like, holy, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> uh, we got nice to meet you with the 50 jet. Did you pay the trash pickup guys extra for enduring the TTS and sound effects harassment? Also, is season two going to be more Hell House or Jet Friends Simulator? Season uh, two will be the same. I think we're going to shoot thing. for the same type of vibes. 50-50. Yeah. Uh, and the the trash collectors, they would come into the garage. And did you see them getting like... I didn't see that. They would come into the garage to get our garbage. Yeah. And t the people on TTS were like harassing them. <laughs> and playing like the breakup sound effects to these like blue collar Hell yeah. guys. And uh, they all thought it was really funny. Nice. Actually. I told... They were like, Sick. what's all that? I was like, well, it's like a stream house. They were like, oh, like Aiden Ross? Like Kai Sinat? Like they yeah. all know who streamers Hell are. Yeah. Uh, Lightning stab with a 50 and was the whole Willy Wonka ending decided on? And how much did Sam practice the bit? Did either Letty or Josie get fooled for real? Also, I was an early on John fan and Letty hater, but soon came to like Letty more, even though I wanted Josie to win. <clears throat> yeah, Letty really earned, earned her uh, fan base there. <laughs> Good work. Um, the Wonka thing was decided upon a day before, and I practiced it for 20 minutes. Yeah. You nailed it, though. Thank you. That was awesome. The show would have sucked. Like, who was fooled? Um, I didn't know it was a bit. I, I did uh, believe you didn't want to give us the money, but I was just kind of okay with that. I accepted nice. it almost instantly. <laughs> Can I say? Like, okay. Okay. We we alluded to kind more or less kind of what we were gonna do. We said we because I didn't want to um, uh, 
My thought was that if we started doing that, Letty would immediately know that it's a bit yeah. and maybe try playing into it yeah. too much. So I just we told her in the basement, like, look, we're going to do something kind of crazy at the end. Don't just ride along with it, but don't, like, act into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just because it was, it was uh, risky enough having Chris kind of acting into it that two people... Like if she came in and was like, "Mr. Goldstrike, what's like?" It would just be it would have been like too yeah. much, kind of. So that's why we we kind of tipped tipped uh, Letty off the day before. Did you guys feel at all embarrassed about the state of the tank when new people would come by? Yes. No. <laughs> I did, especially like, oh, I was really embarrassed for Simon when he came because I didn't know like what he knew about the show and he was coming into it totally blind yeah and we were doing a challenge i couldn't pick him up from the airport he was getting in a nigerian uber mm -hmm. it was just a total nightmare he was on the phone with me saying well i thought you would have somebody with an ipad with my name on it to pit me up <laughs> and i was like oh f like he's about to see this is not a good show yeah and i and then he comes up and <laughs> The, sh the shoes he was filling and, <laughs> and there's no plumbing and, and he's <laughs> when he came I was really embarrassed I was really worried that it would be he would have instantly left but shout out si Simon man holy how many viewers did you believe were actually watching you every day mm. maybe like 700,000 Seven hundred. What the? Fuck? I was thinking maybe a few thousand. Oh shit! Sorry. Um, I, I guess more during the day. At night, I would expect like a few hundred. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. I, I still don't know how many viewers. Uh, the Josie sleep cam was pretty popular, with them. especially early on. There's a few thousand people watching you sleep every night. Oh, <laughs> About ten times more than you thought. That's crazy. For me, um, I actually didn't believe it at first, and I kept telling myself that it was just three people watching because it just like was not real to me. And I was like, "Oh, it's just the producer sending all the TTSs. <laughs> no one's actually watching this." Um, and but then after I kind of like got more used to it, and I thought maybe like I don't know, seven thousand people or something like that. That's pretty. I mean, it's not too far off. Thank you. Uh, cat with the fifty. There was an unused monster animation for a fish toy. What was the plan behind that? I noticed there was a lot of unused fish toy. RC car, metal band, etc. What's the story behind those? Wess it up. Okay. Monster was going to be one of the fish toys. For 10,000 US dollars, you could summon a monster in a full monster suit to come torment them. But we realized that price was so steep and we didn't have a monster suit that was worth it. So we were like... This is, this is messed up. We're not going to do it. And then we would have to have a guy ready at all times to get in a monster suit and chase people around. I would do that. There we go. Yeah, you'd be monster next season. Uh, <laughs> RC car. It would be cool to deploy an RCXD into the fish tank house yeah. and cause havoc. But uh, the stairs would be, uh, would be an issue. Uh, metal band, that would be awesome. But, again, that requires... Uh, four people and band equipment to be ready at 24 hours of the day. 5 a.m. metal band. That's when it would be used um, as a wake-up call. Metalheads sleep in. Um, yeah, it was a couple ambitious things we had to trim back. It sucked, but um, we want to have more cool fish toys next time. Season 2 usability suggestion. Have a little label next to each person chatting that says what room they are watching following the action. Add a local chat toggle that allows people to see chats from people watching the same room mm. we're going to do room chat we're also going to do rfid bracelets i think so when you go into another room it can log in the computer you can oh, track wow. one contestant yeah. Yeah. so if you want to just auto follow letty you could okay i'm just going to follow letty when she goes into the living room the rfid scanner will know that she's in there we should give them implants we'll give them chips <laughs> we'll give them chips and there will be a They'll use a, a global cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea what you're going to do with the money? Um, I'm probably um, going to spend like a lot of it on 
Well, I'm I'm gonna put like a lot of it in savings, I think, until I like decide what to do with it, um, and then like some of it I will invest into like streaming equipment so I can stream and um, maybe like some instruments too. Like I wanted to get like a guitar and stuff like that. Um, most of the money is gonna be saved. Um, I don't know if I'll ever use a large portion of it um, until like like m mostly for like emergencies and like more future future things um, in life but the first portion is going to the uh, my business making it more polished getting the uh, proper licensing and stuff and then the other bit oh, your LLC? yeah you don't need that. no it doesn't do anything. okay and an LLC is just like your it's the same exact thing as being an individual for tax purposes Mm -hmm. waste of $3, okay. Yeah, I still need to look into all that stuff and learn about it. And the other bit is um. You don't really need to learn about that stuff. No. no. Okay. It's uh, not. It's not. Unless you're going to be employing people, it's not really useful. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just a waste of time. Yeah. So yeah, partly um, going into the business for like a, des getting a website or whatever so I can sell things, um, not just in person. And then a little bit will be going to like streaming equipment and then the rest is just uh, saved. What was the actual backstory with Beans? Him and Frank were the best characters. Please have them both back for all future seasons. Beans has passed on. He's dead. He's dead, but his spirit lives on with us all. Beans was a good boy girl. Yeah. And um, he did it, man. But they did it. <laughs> they. Yeah. Wait, did he actually die? That was a real story, but that it's a hermaphrodite goat, and Beans is dead. That's your fault. I don't know if I believe you guys. You fed no, it, there was too much gaslighting. You fed Beans chips. That's what killed it. Can you do a sweatshop challenge? 12 hour shift <clears throat> with the heat on and one fan. That's a good idea. <laughs> Ma and have them make soccer balls. <laughs> and then we just have to sell them on the site. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe in the house you guys should have like a sauna. Mm hmm I was thinking about getting a sauna heater for room two at the end. Oh. Yeah, because we, we had the heat it up and cool it down fish toys, but they didn't really work that good. Yeah. But we, got, we should get a sauna heater. Yeah. Because that would be really funny. But it also would, could kill people. You could kill people with that, so maybe that's not a good idea. We could probably make it 150 degrees, though. Yeah. We could make it kind of hot. Um, Spam America, did Kenny versus Spenny influence the show at all? The good and evil dynamic and some of the pranks, bits, and challenges were reminiscent. Have and you ever seen Kenny versus Spenny? No. I've, I've seen, like, two clips. Yeah. So any, any crossover is incidental. I know that probably is going to piss people the hell off, because I'm sure it's exactly like... I'm sure because we heard on the TTS, it was like, you're copying Kenny versus Spenny. I'm, I'm sure it's the exact same thing. Like, I... I'm sure the prank house, I'm sure it's not dissimilar from what we did, but I've only seen like two clips. I saw when he wore the dress, they did like, don't make you not laugh challenge. And one of them came out wearing a dre dress like a little baby. And I've heard from like very smart people that it's a super funny show. Yeah. Never watched it. You've never seen it? Yeah. So no, sorry. Sorry about that. I know, I know that's going to piss you all off, but haven't, haven't really seen it. Yeah. Freedom Television, thoughts on having a fish market site where people can buy fish bucks and Josie coin or Letty coin with prediction markets for challenges. Final winner also jet brushes with dial. Um, oh, the so prediction like market. Gambling. Yeah, we could add ga crypto gambling to this. <laughs> right. An idea for season two, akin to Chris being the cook, NPCs for the fishes to interact with. An on-site psychologist who's there to observe the fish but ends up being deranged. Long actually, psychologist is good. I actually had I was trying I was gonna pull that for season one. I had this um, <clears throat> there's this there's this like mid thirties uh, woman that used to be a school behavioral therapist. Like she had like a background in that, mm -hmm. being like um, when bad kids got in trouble, she was the one they would come talk to. Yeah. Um, and she was going to be the psychologist for season one. That's really cool. There were so many moving pieces that I didn't put it into play. Right. Um, about the NPC thing, you guys.
guys could have like someone that their whole role is like they give quests to the contestants that they can do for money for the commissary. Quest givers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. If we do it, if we do a build out in a commercial space, we could have it so that there's like windows that open, and the quest giver can come like pop in the window. <laughs> yeah, that type of thing. <laughs> or if like slide down the chimney too. They should oh, wear like yeah, a little yeah. outfit too, with like a hat and like. Yeah. <laughs> quest givers and factions. Factions. <laughs>